Use the means of today to reach the people of today. The Church Speaks, an episode where the Holy Father, the Pope, and the Bishops of the Philippines speaks about their apostolic letters and exhortations to all Catholic Christians. Pope Francis confronts COVID with unbounded love. Pope Francis focused his attention on the concept of the common good in his catechesis at Wednesday's general audience. Continuing his reflection on healing the world, Pope Francis said we can emerge from coronavirus the crisis better than before if we all seek the common good together. At the same time, he lamented that we are beginning to see partisan interests emerging with some people seeking to take advantage of the crisis for selfish purposes. The Christian response to the pandemic and to the consequent socio-economic crisis is based on love. The Pope said, and especially the love of God for us. We in turn are called to love everyone, not only our friends and family, but even our enemies. This is difficult, the Pope acknowledged, but it is an art that can be learned and improved. Building a civilization of love. Love, he continued, not only helps us to build personal relationships, but also allows social, cultural, and economic relationships to flourish, allowing us to construct a civilization of love. The current crisis, the Pope said, is helping us to see that the good of each person individually is tied up with the common good of society as a whole, and vice versa. And he insisted, a virus that does not recognize barriers, borders, or cultural or political distinctions may be faced with a love without barriers, borders, or distinctions. If, on the other hand, solutions to the crisis are tinged with selfishness and or egoism, the Pope said, we may perhaps emerge from the coronavirus crisis, but certainly not from the human and social crisis that the virus has brought to light and accentuated. Instead, everyone, and Christians in particular, have a duty to work to promote the common good. Pope Francis admitted that politics often has a bad reputation, and perhaps not without reason. A good politics is possible, though he insisted when it puts the human person and the common good at the center of its duty. This calls for everyone, but especially those with social and political commitments and duties, to root their actions in ethical principles and nourish them with social and political love. Pope Francis said Christians, in a particular way, the laity, are called to give good example of this and can do it thanks to the virtue of charity, cultivating its intrinsic social dimension. We shall return to this topic next Sunday. Oratio Imperata God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the coronavirus disease 2019 that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that may minister to the sick with competence and compassion government and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. We also pray for all who died because of this disease. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of all Christians, pray for us.
Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Paul the Apostle, pray for us. This Holy Mass is brought to you in collaboration with Ricardo O. Santiago Sr., Steve G. Santiago and Family, Stu and Nancy Santiago and Family, Stephen and Joy Santiago and Family, Sally Mae Santiago Lim and Benedicto Lim Jr. and Family, Sunny Boy and Luella Santiago and Family, APM Ad and Promo Management by Alex P. Montañez and Family, Mercy Evangelista and Family, St. John Paul II and College of Davao, Royal Bread House Incorporated, Tat and Gigi Coronel and Family, Teresita Villa Abrile, Tilly Now Tracking Services, Davao Dury and Laundry Services Company, Mr. and Mrs. Protasio Takandong, Chardan, JDB Diversified Incorporated, Melvin E. Aviles, Purita and Lorenzo and Family, Wellands Food House, PSST Boti Junk Shop, Brother Henry and Lolita Evangelista and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Locas B. Datoy and Family, Jess and Amelia Dizon, Gus and Sophie, Fel Yamido and Family, Adolfo and Malo Ato, Amparo y Casas and Family, MR Human and Environmental College and Family, BBN Cam, APC, Carwell Construction Incorporated, June and Beth, Opos and Family. Offering of the Holy Mass Accept Most Holy Trinity This sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the Divine Word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the Church, for my dear ones, and for myself. We pray for the intentions of our regular sponsors, choir members, donors, offers, and volunteers of this Holy Mass, especially the sponsoring group, Dr. Sherwin and Peaches Ann Abinalis and Family, Nonoy and Debbie Bolipata and Family, Emma Lipardo and Family. Thanksgiving Intentions, Nida Tomalip, Dr. Carlos Tan and Family, Anonymous, Vita Rivera, Bookkeeping Services, Elsa Garcia and Family, June and Beth Opus and Family, Marie Beth Juarez, Lucille Kindoy and Family, Nonoy and Debbie Bolipata and Family. Mercedita Ocarillo, Good Health, Lita Montalban Birthday Intentions Lydia Semera Marie Abigail Opos Aries Batong Wilhelmina Dancel Erlinda Hamoy Luz Llanillo Diwata Paez Melrose Sabio Special Intentions Janet and Arnel Successful Wedding Celebration of Lloyd Peter and Isa Opos and to have a gift of a child, Marcelino and Lidzel and Rongo. Recovery and healing of Emil Season, Lourdes de Latre, Christine Mabilin, Leo and Regina, Sheila Juarez. For the eternal repose of Father Fernando Suarez, Rodolfo, Bernardo, Milagros, Luciana, Germin, Erlinda, Claudio, Thelma, Marutas, Julio, Menandro Sr., Anastasio, Filipa, Eduardo, Ernesto Sr., Manuel, Renerio Sr., Conrada, D and Cam deceased members, Domingo, Abraham Sr., Felisa, Laudimer, 
Damaso, and all who died of COVID-19, all the souls in purgatory, all deceased benefactors, sponsors, and cooperators of the Pauline's Media Mission. Prayer for the sick. Lord and Father, God without end and Almighty, through your grace, you gave us strength and help in our weakness. In your mercy, touch your sick people, deliver them from their sicknesses, and restore their good health, so that assured of your goodness and love, they will praise and thank you in your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, in God's immense love, He sent His Son to bring us His forgiveness, heal the wounds of our division, and teach us how to live as members of His family. On the day of His resurrection, Jesus appeared to His disciples to give them His forgiveness and peace. And before ascending into heaven, He sent them to the whole world to bring to all the good news of God's merciful love. Let us remember that September is National Catechetical Month and National Teachers Month from September 5 to October 5. Today is Catechist Sunday, a very special opportunity for us to remember and pray for our catechists, the unsung heroines, and heroes of the faith. On this same day, we will also pray for all grandparents as we keep this worldwide observance in their honor. Happy Catechist Sunday! Happy Grandparents Day! The presider of this Mass is Father Greg de Mondamon, OSB, Benedictine Monastery, Cogon, Digo City. The choir during this Mass is the FSB Choir Davao. Let us joyfully celebrate the banquet of love. Please stand as we start the Holy Mass. Come to the table of plenty God will provide for all that we need Here at the table of plenty Come and sit at my table Where saints and sinners are friends I want to welcome the lost and lonely to share the cup of my love Come to the feast of heaven and earth Come to the table of plenty God will provide for all that we need Here at the table of plenty In the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit Amen. The grace and peace and the love of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our own sins and ask God's pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, 
Glory to God in the highest, and on earth is on earth, is to people of good will. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth is on earth, is to people of good will. Praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father, of mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the heart. And on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, in the Holy Spirit. And the glory of God the Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, Creator and Ruler of all things, that we feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we serve you with all our heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Forgive. If we want to be forgiven, is the challenging message that comes to us from the sage Zerach in today's Old Testament passage. In his typical instructive style, he anticipates almost literally the teaching of Jesus Christ on the same topic, a teaching that is etched forever in the Lord's Prayer. The first reading. A reading from the book of Sirach. Wrath and anger are hateful things, yet the sinner hugs them tight. The vengeful will suffer the Lord's vengeance, for he remembers their sins in detail. Forgive your neighbor's injustice. Then when you pray, your own sins will be forgiven. Could anyone nourish anger against another and expect healing from the Lord? Could anyone refuse mercy to another like himself? Can he seek pardon for his own sins? If one who is but flesh cherishes, cherishes wrath, who will forgive his sins? Remember your last days. Set enmity aside. 
remember death and decay, and cease from sin. Think of the commandments, hate not your neighbor, remember the most highest covenant, and overlook faults. The word of the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He pardons all your iniquities, heals all your ills, redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. will not always chide, nor does he keep his wrath forever. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requit us according to our crimes. The Lord is kind and merciful, so to us. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is far from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord is kind and merciful, slow. In this short excerpt from his letter to the Romans, St. Paul reminds them and us of a most consoling truth, both in life and in death. We are the Lord's. We are in the hands of a most loving Master. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, none of us lives for oneself, and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life, that he might be the Lord of both the dead and the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Amen. 
the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven is likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the death. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Move with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had the fellow servant put in prison until he paid back his death. When his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant! I forgave you your entire death because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole death. So will my heavenly Father do to you unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. My brothers and sisters, this is the Gospel of the Lord. The more we hate our parents, the more we will become like them says Father William Jerima, founder of the Mercy Center in Colorado Springs in America. The more we hate our parents, the more we will become like them. We say in our heart, I will never become like my father, so irresponsible, so unfaithful, and then eventually in the end, he also left us his own family. Then later on, as you will have your own family, you will realize that you yourself also will become unfaithful to your own family and you would also leave your own children. Because the more we hate our parents, the more we will become like them. I will never become like my mother, so nagger, always angry, easily irritated. I will never become like her. Then eventually, as you grew older, you will realize that you are also becoming a nagger yourself, easily irritated, always angry and frustrated in life, always angry against each other and against your own fellow partners in life or your own children. Because the more we hate our parents, the more we will become like them. And the worst of this is that what we hate most, we become. 
Kung unsa tong pero minti gayud natong ginakalagutan mopud na eventually ang mahimong kinaiya ug mahimong kinabuhi nato later on. And this will become a vicious cycle in our life and this will also become the source of brokenness and woundedness in our family in ourselves and also even in our society. The vicious cycle will continue, it will expand, it will grow, and then it will never end. This anger, this hatred, this frustration in life. And whether we like it or not, most often the case, at the heart of our frustrations, anger, and disturbances in our lives, in our society and in our families, it boils down to that original brokenness and woundedness that we have had with our own family. When at times in our lives, we lost that love experience by which we supposed to deserve from our parents. Or worst case scenario, we did not only experience this lost love encounter with our parents. Lost love experience means that we deserve this love from our parents and yet we have not received it because our parents do not know how to give this to us. For example, people embrace us to appreciate us and to care for us, but he or rather she never did this to us in a way that we feel that we are being loved. And if we have not experienced this, this is what we call lost love experiences. And if we have not all received this, and worst case scenario, we also experience what it means to be abused. And then eventually, as we grow in our bitterness, in our anger and frustration, once we were victims, now we become victimizers. As a young girl or as a young boy, sige lang tagkasukan o kalagutan, bunalan sa ito ang parents, nahimutang biktima sa abuse o lost love experiences. Then eventually, na napod tayo kaugalingong pamilya, kita napod ang mu-abuse sa ito ang pamilya, sa ito ang asawa, sa ito ang bana, o sa ito ang mga anak. Once a victim, now become victimizers. And this vicious cycle will continue in our lives, in our family, and in our society. But then, the only way we can truly cut off this vicious cycle, the only way we can truly heal the brokenness and woundedness in our lives and in our family, is first and foremost, is to offer in our heart that spirit of understanding and a space of forgiveness and reconciliation with our parents. This is the only way by which we can break down and cut off that vicious cycle of anger, frustrations, war, and conflict and division in our family and in our society. To offer a space in our heart, that spirit of understanding, and then eventually forgiveness and reconciliation. And so, therefore, our readings today is a very timely event in our lives by which we are reminded what is most needed in our time today. That grace of healing and peace that comes from forgiveness and reconciliation. Of course, what is being discussed also, particularly in our gospel today, when Jesus speaks about forgiveness, it boils down to the end of our own salvation for eternal life. Meaning, if we forgive today, in the end, our Heavenly Father will also forgive us for our own salvation. And perhaps our own supposedly 
time to experience too much purgation or spending more time in purgatory will be lessened also. That is why in our gospel it speaks about the time when we are thrown into the darkness until we have paid the last penny. So many of the church fathers interpreted this as our experience in purgation in the purgatory. That is, we are supposed to pay even the last single cent of our sin against God and against our fellow man. Until nahurut na to, bayad na to, makasulod na ta sa langit, makagawas na ta sa purgatorio. These are the interpretations of the church fathers kaning towards the end of our gospel today. So muna siya ang pinakatumoy sa ato ang mga pagbasa karon kasi natian din kita usab pasayloon sa Ginoo aron kita makasulod ya sa ginghariyan sa langit nga wala nay katapusan ang kalipay wala nay katapusan ang kalinaw wala nay katapusan ang pagmaya wala nay kaguol wala nay kasakit until the end of time or rather for eternity so mauna siya ang first nga meaning sa tuang gospel today However, it is by the grace and mercy of God that even in our pilgrimage in this world towards our end, we should also experience the joy of healing and peace. So that in our journey, we can also be charitable to others. Because we can never be charitable to others, not unless we experience also that sense of peace and healing in our heart and in our mind. And so therefore, it is essential and necessary that we experience also this grace of healing and peace. And this healing and peace can be truly be achieved in our journey and in our lives in the spirit of forgiveness and reconciliation. And so therefore, this is not only a command coming from God demanding a sacrifice for us to forgive, but rather, this is grace, this is mercy, this is God's compassion for us, so that we truly experience this joy that is coming from the Holy Spirit because there is inner peace in our heart and in our lives. Just imagine, for example, imagine this. Kanabang, maglakaw ka, Ngayon mong gibati, gaan ka ayo. Tapos, there is an aura of peace and smile in your face or from your face. Kay nga naman, kay walay hatred, walay anger, ang imong kasing-kasing, malinawon ang imong nahuna o ang imong pagbati. Tungod kay nakapasaylo ka man sa nakasala ka mo. Gaan ang imong pagbati. Then having forgiven those people who have sinned against us, we are also assured that inner sense of peace and joy because we also know that we are also forgiven. Wala ka tayo kahadlok. Unsa ka da ko ato ang sala. Kay baluta na wala tagi condemn, wala tagi judge sa gunoo, wala tanya gisalikway, wala tanya gitamay, bisan makasasala man ta, tungod kay nga man. Matud pa ni Cristo, blessed are the merciful because they also receive the great grace of God's mercy for them. So blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain also mercy. Muna mo ang batiyon, malinawon ka ayo. Makatulog ka nga malinawon. Maglakaw ka nga mo exude ang awa sa imong inner peace. Gaan imong pagbati. Wala kay kahadlok. Nga naman. Kay walay hatred, walay anger, walay bitterness imuhang kasing-kasing. Manindot kayo sa katanan. But the only way we can achieve this is to claim this very grace being said to us in our gospel today and in our first reading. Forgive and you will also be forgiven. And this is peace. This is healing. 
I remember there was a little girl by the age of 12 years old. Ihang parents nagbulag, yung papa o mama. And then she stayed with her mother. Kay one of the main reasons behind this, kay nahimong unfaithful ang iyahang papa na ilaing babae. So hindi ay nagbulag silang duha. And then, ang batang babae experience this bitterness and anger with his father because of what had happened. Pero gimingaw po ang bata kay in spite of the fact na yung anang gibuhat sa papa, sa iyang mama, kaning paborito, palangga po diya po siya sa iyang papa. And then one day, nagsakit ang bata. Idala sa doktor, Nagpasalamat po ng doktor kay as early as possible, nagpa-check up dahil sila kay na-discoverian at early stage na ay sakit ang bata, ang iyang sakit kay leukemia. O, mingon ang doktor sa bata, aside from the medicines and medications that are necessary for the child's healing, importante sa bata, ma'am, nga dili siya ma-stress, dili siya ma-depress para maka-recover siya, hopefully, with the medication that we offer to her. Pero, just give you na, not uh, to give you a false hope, daghang mga cases sa uh, leukemia nga dali lang mo mistastasize. So, muna, ang pingan gini mo yung bata, nanglan ka ning presko, tanan ang iyang pagbati. So, nag kayo ang mama sa nahitabo. Then one day, sa kaadlaw ni Ana, ni-approach ang bata sa iyong mama, ugmingon siya, Ma, I know, nga suko kay kakang papa. Pero gusto na ako nga mubisita kang papa. Kay balumang ko sa ako ang sakit, kay gingnan man ko ni mo sa tanang consequences and possibilities ni ini. So hangyo lang na ako, Ma, nga i-allow ko makabisita kang papa, kay dugay na po nag-request si papa nga kaning mo take care sa ko abisag one week lang. So, because of that sickness sa child, although at the very beginning, diligid mo sugot ang mama nga maduol iyahang anak siyang papa, eventually, nisugot ang mama. So, lipay po kayong papa, gisundo dayon ang bata silang balay, promising for one week, ibalik iyahang bata. Tood man, after one week, gihatod sa papa ang iyang anak dito sa iyahang mama. Then after several days, ni balik sila ang mama o ang anak sa doctor for the regular checkup. Then after the battery of test, patawag sa mama o sa doctor ang mama po duban sa bata. Umingon dahil ng doctor, ma'am, unsay other medication na gibuhat ninyo aside sa ako ang gihatag. Siya wala man doc, wala mo nag herbal herbal, wala man po doc. Wala mo nagpa-faith healing, wala po dok. Basta katuloy mong gisulti good nga unsay requirements o mga medication mo, ragi tutanan ang mong gisunod o wala nagilain. Nga naman di ay dok, miingon ang doktor. Ma'am, naayo ay muhang bata sa iyahang sakit. Wala ko kay balo unsay rason, pero seldom na ni mahitabo nga ingunani ang case. Kung wala mo ilaing intervention gibuhat sa bata, nan milagro ang nahitabo sa iyang kaayuhan. Busa unsa man tong rason, maayogid ka na. So niuli, sila, malipayon kayo ang mama, malipayon po kayo ang bata, and then nangutana ang mama sa bata. Anak, nga naman diyan na ayaw ka? Ni smile lang ang bata, umingon siya. Ma, you remember, Katong gialaw ko ni mo makabisita kang papa, makastay siya for one week, lipay kay ko ato sa katanan. And without expecting it, ang naitabo mga kay, naluoy ko kang papa kay nangayo gud siya, nihilak siya sa akong atubangan one night, o nangayo siyang pasaylo, o ako siyang gipasaylo. In fact, nangayo po gud siyang pasaylo sa imuha, man, na ulaw ra po gud siguro siya mo dool sa imuha, pero From the depths of all, my heart, ako giyong gipasaylo, ako ang papa, ako siyang gi-embrace. Oh, since that time on, I feel from the depths of my heart that sense of inner peace and joy. Wala ko kasabot, basta gibati lang na ako, gaan kaya akong pagbati. Para sa ako ama, I attribute my healing 
to that experience of being reconciled with my father by which I was able to forgive him. Monang naayo kuma, sumoto isulti sa bata. Moni ang panginahanglan sa tuwang panahon karon, especially with pandemic of COVID-19, we can easily prevent this by boosting our immune system and our antibodies with the spirit of being peaceful and joyful because we know we are able to forgive those people who have hurt us, especially from that original brokenness and woundedness in our lives coming from our parents. And so therefore, let us remember this. The more we hate our parents, the more we will become like them. The only way we can cut off this vicious cycle of anger and frustrations, brokenness and woundedness in our life and in our society is to offer in our heart a space of understanding and the spirit of forgiveness, then eventually reconciliation. Let us now all stand and proclaim our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten that made consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and a small church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayers for the faithful. We are fully aware of our sinfulness and of the duty we have to forgive our offenders. Let us then ask the grace to be as merciful and compassionate as God is. Let our response be, Merciful Lord, hear us. For the universal and local church, may she be a clear sign and instrument of God's merciful love for all human beings. Let us pray. Merciful Lord, hear us. For the Holy Father and all spiritual leaders, may they continue to inspire us with their magnanimity toward those who offend them. Let us pray. Merciful Father, hear us. For our civil leaders and people in authority, may they set a good example in seeking reconciliation and collaboration with political opponents for the greater good of the country. Let us pray. Merciful, Merciful Father, hear us. For the different social classes, may they learn to be fair to one another and work together for the promotion of social justice and peace. Let us pray. Merciful Lord, hear us. For all teachers and especially our catechists, may Jesus the Divine Teacher Catechist be their constant inspiration as they give their best in forming our children and youth 
as loving Christians and upright citizens. Let us pray. Merciful Father, hear us. For all our grandparents, both those who are still living and those who have gone to their rest, may the Lord reward them abundantly for the love they have lavished upon us. Let us pray. Merciful Father, hear us. For all the elderly, the sick, the orphans, may receive the Holy Spirit, the healer at this time of suffering and fear. Let us pray. Merciful Father, hear us. For the souls of the faithful departed, that they will enter the joy of paradise, especially the victims of COVID-19, the deceased members of the sponsors, benefactors, and cooperators of the Pauline Media Mission. Let us pray. Merciful Father, hear us. Lord God, help us to meditate your Son, Jesus Christ, who forgave even those who crucified him. Grant us the grace to become the signs and instruments of your forgiving love, and thereby promote the peace of the kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth, and work of our human hands. It will become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vines, and work of our human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice is acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the for the praise and glory of His name, for the good and the good of all His holy Church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name serve the servant of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is it right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory, that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall becomes the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. Our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Oh 
of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is He who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, again giving you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and proclaim your resurrection until Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we are gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Romulo, our Archbishop, all the clergy, the religious, and the entire people whom you have redeemed. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs with eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father for ever and ever. Let us now pray for the forgiveness of our sins as we forgive those who have sinned against us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we are always freed from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, glory and yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you have said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And your spirit. Let us now offer to each other our sign of peace. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called in his banquet. For those who cannot receive Holy Communion, we pray the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me, I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart, detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Let us pray. The working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. How do I find peace of mind in my stressed out life? It can be hard to hold on to trust in God when we are stressed, stressed by responsibilities, deadlines, and expectations. Inner Peace is the book from the Wisdom from Jean Pierre de Cousad. $1.25 per copy. 
Available at the Pauline's Media Center, Bolton Street, Davao City, Philippines. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And the Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Let us go in the love and peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. We we'll praise to all God, who alone gives light to our days. Many all the blessings He bears to those who trust in His way. Daughters and sons of him who built the valleys and plains. Praise the wonders of God who's done in every heart that sings. Glory and praise to our Lord, who alone is light to our days. May he honor the blessings he bid to those. Sunday. Happy, Happy Grand Parents Day! Grand Parents Day.